Kids, it's Miss Sarah, and today we're going to make a pumpkins out of balloons. Uh, so your kit is going to come with a balloon. It'll be orange, uh, but if you have balloons at home and want to make a whole bunch, any color will work. It's going to come with some filling, a piece of floral tape, some twine, and then just a piece of wire to make your stem. So you are going to need your own scissors. And if you would like to make faces on it, like we did, you're going to just need a marker. So the first thing you're going to do is cut your balloon. We're gonna cut the top off. You can leave a little bit so that you have something to tie, but really that is good enough. You can see that and you'll have this leftover. You can discard this, you won't need it. Okay, so you're going to take your wire and the easiest thing to do is just cut it and uh, fold it in half like this. Probably won't be able to see it with the green screen, but, and then just twist it a little and fold it over. So you can kind of see it's like that, just twisted so it's kind of like a, a little stick so it'll fit in. Then you're going to take your balloon and put your stuffing in. So you can hold it open however you can Stretch the balloon a little if you need to, and just stuff your stuffing in. Um, you'll have plenty of stuffing to make a perfect pumpkin. I'm just gonna push it in there. And it's okay if it's weirdly shaped, we'll shape it with the twine. And as you get to the, the end of the filling, it'll be a little bit harder to get in, but so, even though mine's green and it looks like a little grape, but this is what yours will look like with orange. So then, you're going to just stuff in your wire straight to the bottom. Um, and just be careful that it doesn't poke through. Just found it to be a little bit easier than putting that in first than trying to put the, the uh, stuffing around it. So it'll look like this. Can you see it? It's like a little Christmas ornament. Okay, so then you're going to take your twine and what you want to do is just cut a third of it off. A couple inches you're going to want just to tie it around to close this. Um, about maybe four or five inches. And you're just going to close up your pumpkin. All right, so I tied a knot first and I kind of just string it around. And if you have a little piece left, you can use that for later. I actually coiled it so you know how sometimes pumpkins have that little coil. You tie it around a couple times. You can make a knot again. It'll look like that. It's okay that it's not beautiful. It'll be all fixed at the end. So the first thing you're going to do with the rest of your twine is you're just going to make a loop like this. Uh, don't pull it all the way through. You're going to want to slip it over your pumpkin uh, neck. So it'll look like this. Uh, what we're going to do is squish it a little so that we can make our twine as tight as possible. And you're going to come down on the side, squish a little, and come back up directly across from it. So it's going to look like that. Then you're going to just loop it around and then come down again and across again. So it's going to look like that. You'll have about an, it looks kind of like an X and then you can loop it again and do the same thing again. If you make your pumpkin with less stuffing, you can even do it again, but not necessary. So once you have that, you can tie it around again. Just take another knot. So it's gonna look like this. And you can cut off some of the ends if you'd like, if you find that it is too long. Once you're done with your last one, you're, it'll look something like this. Um, and the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your floral tape 
and just wrap it around carefully avoiding that little piece if you want it if you don't want a coral a piece to coil after you can just um, cut it off uh, so you're gonna just wrap it around and it's slightly sticky so you shouldn't have any problems with it coming off and you're just gonna wrap it around your entire wire piece and you can just pinch it closed. If you have extra, you can keep wrapping it um, or you could just cut it off. Um, so you'll have something like this and you can bend it. I kind of just pinched mine closed like that. And then if you have a pencil um, or your scissors, you can just kind of create a coil, wrap it around the pencil, just like that. Um, and then when you let go, you'll have your little coil like a pumpkin does. It's much easier to use the pencil over the scissors. Um, so that is your pumpkin. If you would like to put a face on it, you can do that. Uh, we have a jack-o'-lantern face and we did a vampire face, uh, or you could just leave it like that. And if you have a whole bunch of this material at home together, you can string them, string them together and make a really neat decoration for your room. Otherwise, friends, that is your balloon pumpkin. I hope you've had a lot of fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye, friends.